Tommy Flanagan has been part of the entertainment industry for years. He's widely regarded as one of the most prominent and villainous character actors working in Hollywood today. And his facial scars are a defining characteristic. So join us as Facts First presents Tommy Flanagan finally reveals the story behind his scars. Tommy Flanagan was born in a less than desirable section of Easter House, Glasgow, Scotland. One day he was having a typical night out at a pub carrying out his DJ gig when he was ambushed and robbed by a group of strangers as he left the establishment. He fought back, but he couldn't stand up to them. There were too many. Unfortunately, his attackers were well armed and they slashed and stabbed him across both cheeks. Fortunately, Flanagan managed to survive the attack, but the scar on his face has become his signature look. The scar was nicknamed the Glasgow Smile. Despite this terrible and traumatic incident, Flanagan pursued a career in the entertainment industry, which is widely believed to be heavily based on looks. How he got into acting If Tommy had hoped to pursue a career in Hollywood, he would have been devastated to discover he now had a weird scar on his face, but he had no interest early on. When Flanagan was a young child living in Easter House, he volunteered his services as an altar boy at the church. Later in life, Flanagan worked at a neighborhood nightclub where he had learned to DJ. It seemed like everything was going well for Tommy until the knife attack. But life had other plans. And in retrospect, this terrible assault ended up giving Hollywood one of the finest and meanest performers. Many of Flanagan's acquaintances assured him he would have no trouble landing starring roles in TV and film because of his striking appearance and iconic Glasgow smile. However, until his colleague and friend actor Robert Carlyle encouraged him to give acting a shot, he had no interest in it. He maintained his career as a DJ in nightclubs after he had recovered from the attack. Following Carlyle's recommendation, he decided to join the Rain Dog Theater Company in the 1990s and made his stage debut in shows including One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Macbeth. Flanagan, who had no intention of making a profession out of acting, realized how his ordeal fit into the bigger picture. In 1992, he made his acting debut in an uncredited part in an episode of the BBC anthology series Screen One. Aside from that, one of his first notable parts was in an episode of the famous Scottish detective series Taggart in 1993, for which he won critical acclaim for his depiction of Tam McLeod. He had a few roles on Scottish TV films like Tis the Season to Be Jolly and Jolly a Life before he became widely known for his work in Hollywood's epic war picture Braveheart. He played Morrison in the Mel Gibson-directed movie. Since that time, Flanagan has had many opportunities come his way. He's been in numerous Hollywood, British, and Scottish films, playing significant roles in films like Gladiator, Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle, Alien vs. Predator, and Sin City. In 2008, he appeared as Chibs Telford in one of FX's highest-rated thrillers, Sons of Anarchy. His most recent works include The Jesuit and Power Book 4, Force. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Other Celebrities with Visible Scars Many other stars, not just Flanagan, have noticeable scars. Seal, a British singer, is among them. The musician and vocalist has facial scars as a result of his childhood battle with discoid lupus erythematosus. DLE is an inflammatory skin condition that results in lesions, scarring, and irreversible hair loss. Keanu Reeves Even though he's a Hollywood legend, few people know that Keanu Reeves has a long scar across his stomach. A motorbike accident in Topanga Canyon left him with the scar. He had been driving at night without his headlights on, a practice known as a devil ride, when he ran into the side of a mountain. He lay on the ground for 30 minutes after the collision before anyone came to his aid. After sustaining shattered ribs and a spleen rupture, he spent a week in the hospital. Steve Buscemi Steve Buscemi's under chin on the left side of his face is scarred in a long diagonal line across the left side of his jaw. In 2001, while filming Domestic Disturbance in North Carolina, he left an injury that scarred him. Buscemi, Vince Vaughn, and Scott Rosenberg, a screenwriter, all went to the Firebelly Lounge for a drink one day. A confrontation broke out between a woman and her boyfriend when she began talking to Vaughn. When Buscemi came to his friend's help, Timothy Fogarty, who was 21 at the time, stabbed him several times in the face, chin, throat, and arm. Buscemi's injuries were potentially fatal. Thankfully, he made it, but he had to learn to live with the scars for the rest of his life. Harrison Ford Harrison Ford has a scar on his chin. When he first arrived in L.A. in 1964, he sustained that scar. One morning, while he was heading to work at Bullock's department store, he discovered he'd forgotten to put on his seatbelt. 
He lost control of the vehicle as he fumbled for it, ran off the road, and hit a telephone pole. His chin smacked on the steering wheel, and he subsequently went through the windshield as a result of the severity of the collision. Actors who landed roles because of their scars Many famous actors, including Tommy Flanagan, have distinct scars that have played an important part in their careers. Sean Bean is one of these actors. In an unfortunate event, Harrison Ford actually struck Bean in the face with a boat hook, leaving him with a scar. They were filming the scene where Bean dies in Patriot Games in 1992. But there's a silver lining. Since Bean now appeared much gruffer than before, he was cast in the role of Sharp by virtue of his scar. The scar also added nuance and a world weariness to Bean's portrayals of Boromir and Odysseus in The Lord of the Rings and Troy, respectively. Michael K. Williams Rather than a traditional birthday present, Michael K. Williams received a disguise when he turned 25. In a scuffle outside a bar, an attacker slashed the actor across the face with a razor. But after that, things shifted dramatically. Instead of only dancing in music videos, filmmakers began to request he play thug roles in movies. After some time, his new image began to catch the eye of those in the film and TV business. Even though he endured a horrible experience to earn his scar, it was essential in his subsequent acting career. In 1996, Tupac Shakur stumbled upon a Polaroid of the actor, which was kept in the office of the production company where he had auditioned. He saw Williams and decided he should be in his upcoming picture, Bullet. The high point of Williams' career came in 2002 when he starred as Omar Little, the trench coat wearing stick up man on HBO's The Wire. Jason Momoa In 2008, Momoa suffered the scar that now spans his entire left eyebrow. He was injured when a man smashed a pint glass over his head in a Hollywood pub. In the course of his reconstructive surgery, he required 140 stitches, and the man who attacked him received a five year prison sentence. Jason Momoa's portrayal of the powerful Khal Drago in Game of Thrones was a masterstroke. His scar was a perfect match for his role. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite role of Tommy Flanagan's? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the Join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Factsverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members-only videos waiting for you with new videos added every month. And we're actively working